Good morning, grade fives, and welcome to English First Additional Language. And we are now at the end of week nine. It's Friday already, and the weather here by me is cold and rainy again today. Yesterday it was nice and warm. Now you all, I know you're very excited. You're waiting for the good game, but I have some news for you. You are writing a test today, so we're not doing good. Okay. I'm playing, I'm playing. Of course you can play. <laughs> Let's quickly read what we did yesterday. We focused on writing and then we looked at a descriptive paragraph. All of you went and wrote a nice paragraph for me to read and email it to me over the weekend. Today we are going to play Kahoot and I know you had some practice with Mrs. Geldenace in the maths class and I was watching you guys. So well done on that top five up there that answered those questions so well. Let's, let's see what you're doing with the English today. Remember I saw our, our questions are also one minute and you guys didn't get um, through the math test. So I need you guys all to answer the question. If you don't answer, the whole minute will run out before we can go on to the next one, okay? But if you all answer, it will go to the next question, okay? That's the first thing. The second thing, this is my last day with you guys today. From Monday onwards, you are going to have a new English teacher. I'm sorry about that and I am going to miss you guys a lot. So I hope, really, really hope that you guys will still email me um, I, will even, I will answer your letters as well. I don't know why we are not in control of who teaches what, so sorry guys. Okay, let us continue. Now, do all of you have a second device? If you don't, tell me because I can tell you what to do. You can still play if you don't have a second device. Okay. Just say yes or Oh, you can um, just tell me quickly if you don't have one. Okay. Just hang on here quickly. Those of you who don't have a second device, if you only have one device, is it a laptop or is it a cell phone? Can you quickly answer me in the chat box? Just tell me if you are, okay. Some of you laptop, Rowan, what are you on? Some cell phone. Okay, the ones that are on a cell phone, I am going to tell you to leave this chat soon or to minimize this chat on your cell phone. And then I'm going to tell you where, what you must type in to go in. Then don't worry about what you are seeing in front of you. I am going to read the questions and the answers to you. So when I tell you to go to Kahoot, you will see four blocks in front of you. I'm going to explain to you now, those who don't have a second device, okay? Those who do have a second device, you can take them out now and go to kahoot.it. I'm going to tell the ones who don't have a second device just now. Okay, those of you who who have a cell phone, you also go to kahoot.it, minimize this screen that you are seeing now. You don't need to see this screen. Okay, go to kahoot.it. I am going to give you a code that you can um, fill in there, okay? Those of you who have a laptop as your only device, you guys can um, minimize the, or just make the one window smaller and then also go to kahoot.it in a second um, tab. Then you can have both tabs open on your laptop. Okay. I am going to, can you guys see the screen where the pin is? Those of you who have two devices. I'm going to read the pin and I'm also going to write it in the chat box, okay? It is three, five, 
four four zero one. Bukhle, you on. You on. Nalini, you on. I see a lot of you are on. Those of you who only have one device, go to kahoot.it. The following number in there. It's going to ask you for this number. Three five four four zero one. Okay. Are you in? I see a lot of you in there already. 16 players are in there. I'm just waiting for everyone to join. In your chat box, I also wrote the number. So 10 of you need to come and join. I'm going to read the pin again. Three, five, four, four. Zero one. I still need 10 of our students to join. I need eight, sorry, I'm, I can't count. I was just watching the math lesson and admiring you guys. We need, okay, there's 17 on now. So we need nine more. I'm going to give another minute and then we have to start, okay? Okay, for those of you who've just joined, go to kahoot.it to join the game and type in this pin, 354401. I'm going to put in, okay, 21 of you are there already. Still waiting for seven. Again, guys. Someone Lele to just join. Remember, you have to go to kahoot.it. Okay, I'm going to explain again. If you are on two devices, your second device, your cell phone, type in kahoot.it. Right, then it's going to ask you for a game pin. The game pin for this game is 354. Four zero one. If you are on a laptop and you don't have a second device, you can minimize or just make one window smaller, the one that you see in front of you. Open another window and say kahoot.it and put in the pin. So yes, you use Google and type in that bar there, kahoot.it, okay. We have 22 people that joined us already. Good IP. And then type in P544401. And you need to join the game. Okay. Right, I'm going to start now, guys. And then remember to answer as fast as you can. One who answers will get the most points. Okay. Here you go. We are ready. There's five of you on now. We need 26. Nice. We only need two more. Two of you are not on yet. Okay, are you guys ready? Those of you who don't have the second, I'm going to read the question. So three, two, one. Question number one. Which type of adverb tells us how an action is done? In the red block, adverb of frequency. In the blue block, adverb of manner. In the yellow block, adverb of how. And in the green block, 
adverb of degree. So you choose the one that you think is the right answer. Oh, Susan, I can't wait. Quickly log in, quickly log in. Which type of adverb tells us how an action is done? Red block, adverb of frequency. Blue block, adverb of manner. Yellow block, adverb of how. And green block, adverb of degree. The pen for the new guys, three, five, four, four, zero, one. 11 of you got the right answer. Only 11, oh guys. Right, well done to those of you who got it. Now we're going to go on to the next one. Before I do, let me read the pin one more time. Three, five, four, four, zero, one. Okay, next question. Woo, our scoreboard. Tando, you're all the way up there. In first place at the moment, Lils, let's see if you can catch her. The next question, which kind of adverb tells us how many times an action is done? This is a hard question. Which kind of adverb tells us how many times an action is done? The red block, adverb of degree, the blue block, adverbial phrase. The yellow block, adverb of frequency. And the green block, adverb of quantity. Okay, we have 23 answers. I'm gonna read it again quickly. We have 20 seconds. Which kind of adverb tells us how many times an action is done? Red block, adverb of degree. Blue block, adverbial phrase. Yellow block, adverb of frequency. Green block, adverb of quantity. I think one of you on, no, there's one more that needs to answer. Ah, oh, this looks a bit better. 11 of you got the right answer. Now let's see what your scoreboard looks like now. Ooh, and Faith moved up all the way. So now Faith is in the lead. Let's see who can catch Faith. Are you guys ready for the next one? Let me just see what's going on in your chat box here. Good. Our next question is an easy one and you only have 30 seconds. It's a true or false question. So you will see two blocks. An adverb is a word that tells us more about a verb. Blue block is true. Red block is false. I'll read it again quickly. An adverb is a word that tells us more about a verb. Blue block, true. Red block, false. Oh, nicely done. 23 of you got that one right. Well done. Let's see what your scoreboard looks like. Oh, and Faith is staying right up there, but I see new names on this board. Um, let's see if you can catch Faith. Right, are you ready? Amma, you are the highest climber. Or I don't know how to pronounce your name. Awesome. Oh. Up eight places, awesome. Amma or Amma, you are up eight places. Well done, you're the highest climber. Are you guys ready for the next one? Question number four, identify the adverb. They were too tired to work. They were too tired to work. In the red block, they. In the blue block, were. In the yellow block, two. In the green block, tired. Okay, listen to the question again. Identify the adverb. They were too tired to work. Red block, they. Blue block, were. Block, two. And green block, tired. Oh, 
Have you got it? And what's happening there? Ooh, there's a tie there. 12 of you got it right, but 12 of you didn't. Okay, let's see the scoreboard. Someone just asked for the code again. If you are listening to me, I'm giving it to you. E54401. Now, Lydia, you are the highest climber and you climbed up seven places. And on our top, we have praise. Number second place at the moment, JK. And the third place, favor. Faith, you still have a chance to catch one of them. Okay, our next question. Are you guys ready for this? I am extremely happy. Extremely is an red block, noun, blue block, verb, yellow block, adjective, green block, adverb. I'll read it again. I am extremely happy. Extremely is an noun in the red block, blue block, verb, yellow block, adjective, and green block, adverb. You have 25 seconds. What is extremely? A noun, a verb, an adjective, or an adverb? Just look at that. 12 of you got it right. An adverb. Right. The scoreboard at the top is JK and Favor have moved to second place. Praise in third place and Neo in fourth. Uhle is the highest climber up 10 places. Our next question. Which is not an adverb or adverb phrase? Yesterday, the boy ran very fast around the school track. I want you to tell me which one is not an adverb or an adverb phrase. Yesterday, the boy ran very fast around the school track. The red block, yesterday. The blue block, the boy. Yellow, very fast. And green, around the school track. Tell me which one is not an adverb or an adverb phrase. Yesterday, the boy ran very fast around the school track. Red block, yesterday. Blue block, the boy. Yellow block, very fast. And green block, around the school track. Have you got it, guys? Let's see who's up here. Ooh, only eight of you but let's see who got it right. Neo is moving up and he is now in first place. JK second, praise third and favor fourth. This was a tough round. Three players lost their answer streak of three. Oh no. Let's see the next one. Identify the adverb of degree. Namsta was very tired after she played tennis on Saturday. Identify the adverb of degree. Namsa was very tired after she played tennis on Saturday. In the red block, after. In the blue block, tired. In the yellow block, Saturday. In the green block, very. We have 30 seconds. If all of you answer, we can go to the next question. Red block, after. Blue block, tired. Yellow block, Saturday. And green block, very. 17 seconds. Oh, all of you answered. Let's, aha, 15 of you got the right answer. Let's see who moved up. Neo is still at the top. JK remains in second place. Praise fourth and, uh, praise third and favor fourth. But princess is the highest climber with up seven places. Are you ready for the next one? What kind of adverb is extremely? 
in the following sentence. The English test was extremely difficult. What kind of adverb is that? The English test was extremely difficult. Red block, adverb of time. Blue block, adverb of frequency. Yellow block, adverb of degree. And green block, adverb of extremity. You have 30 seconds. I'll read the answers again. Red, adverb of time. Blue, adverb of frequency. Yellow, adverb of degree. And green, adverb of extremity. You have five, almost only five seconds left. Someone still needs to answer. 12 of you got it right. It was of degree. Let's see who climbed and who didn't. He's just moved up one. Oh, and you are back with an answer streak of three praise. First place now we have Neo, then praise, third is Beck, and number four. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Ibtaho, is that right? Let's carry on. Number nine. Conjunctions are best described as red block, connection words that describe your sentence, blue block, it is a road sign, yellow block, connecting words that describe nouns, or green block, connecting words that join sentences, words, and phrases together. I'll read it again. Conjunctions are best described as red block, connect, connection words that describe your sentence, blue block, it is a road sign, yellow block, connecting words that describe nouns, and green block, connecting words that join sentences, words, or phrases together. Five seconds left. Seventeen of you got it right. Excellent job. Let's see the scoreboard. Nia remained in first place. Second place, JK. And Tahal is in fourth place. Ooh, somebody is up four places. Maybe you can catch them. Go on to our next question. Identify the conjunction in the following sentence. Do you want to go down the hill or up the mountain? Identify the conjunction in the following sentence. Do you want to go down the hill or up the mountain? Red block down, blue block up, yellow block or, and green block want. Identify the conjunction in the following sentence. Do you want to go down the hill or up the mountain? Red block down, blue block up, yellow block or, and green block want. You have 20 seconds left and 27 of you answered. So just one more, um, here we go. 23 of you got it right, the answer was or. Oh, Nia remains in first position with a great gap. Naledi is now in second place, Ibtahal in third place, and Praise in fourth place. Four players have reached an answer streak of four. That is excellent. Well done. Number 11. Identify the conjunction in the following sentence. Paul and I wanted to go swimming. Red block, wanted, blue block, and, yellow block, go, and green block, to. I'll read it again. Identify the conjunction in the following sentence. Paul and I wanted to go swimming. Red block, wanted, blue block, and, yellow block, go, and green block, to. We need one more answer. Well done, 19 of you 
got that answer. Excellent job, you guys. Can I move on to the next one? Let me just see your top quickly. Okay, no problems there. And on the scoreboard, if Tal is moving up, Naledi, you have to see if you can go to second place again. Samuel is back in the game. He has three in a row. Naledi is in third place and praise in fourth. And the next question, identify the conjunction. I'd like a cheese and tomato sandwich, please. Identify the conjunction. I'd like a cheese and tomato sandwich, please. The red block and blue block, I'd. Yellow block, please. And green block, sandwich. Identify the conjunction. I'd like a cheese and tomato sandwich, please. Red and blue, I'd. Yellow, please. Green, sandwich. You have 20 seconds and I need two more answers. Time is running out. Quickly answer. Which one is the conjunction in that sentence? Ooh, someone didn't answer. 84 of you got it right. Well done. Conjunction was and Nia remains in first place. Ital second. Naledi third. And praise fourth. Neo has a streak with 11 correct answers in a row. Let's see who can catch him. The next one is true and false. You have 30 seconds. An easy one. A statement is a sentence that tells something. Blue, true, red, false. A statement is a sentence that tells something. Blue, true, red, false. I need three or four more answers. There we go, two more. Three seconds. And the answer is true. Well done to 24 of you. And let's look at the scoreboard. Nia remains in first place, Iptal second, Naledi third, and Price fourth. Five players have reached answer streak four. Mm, it seems like things are going easier now. Question number 14. In what tense is the following sentence? Vusi will choose a cricket bat. Red block, future tense. Blue block, future continuous tense. Yellow block, past tense. And green block, present tense. I'll read the question again. In what tense is the following sentence? Vusi will choose a cricket bat. Red block, future tense. Blue block, future continuous tense. Yellow block, past tense. And green block, present tense. We need one more person to answer, then it will move on. Well done. 18 of you got it right. It is the future tense. Now let's look at the scoreboard. Dun, 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 dun. And there we go, Neo remains in first place. Iptahal remains in second place. Naledi is very close to going to second place and Bukhle is now in fourth place. Now Naledi has the highest answer streak of nine. Let me quickly see your text before we move on. Ooh, Jibrail is saying, Faith, I am coming. Number 15, complete the sentence with the future tense form of the word in brackets. The boys, then the word in brackets is play, cricket in summer. So you have to give the future tense form of play. Red block, played. Blue block, will have played. Yellow block, will play. Green block, are going to play. Complete the sentence with the future tense form of the word in brackets. The boys 
play cricket in summer and the word is play so red block played blue block will has played yellow block will play and green block are going to play 10 seconds Nineteen of you got it right. Let's see the scoreboard. <gasps> Neo is still number one. The lady, she has gone to number two. Iptal number three, and Bohlen number four. Akani just hit an answer streak of seven. Good job, you guys. Let's see what is next. Question number 16. What do you call poems that tell a story? A poem that tells a story is called number, I mean, red block, story poems, blue block, descriptive poems, yellow block, lyric poems, or green block, narrative poems. What do you call poems that tell a story? Red, story poems, Blue, descriptive, oh, there you go. Narrative poems is the correct answer. 13 of you got that right. Let's look at our scoreboard. Oh, Ital is now in first place. Neo is number two, Buchle number three, and the lady number four. Ethan is back in the game. He has three in a row correct already. Are you guys ready? For the next question, take a deep breath. What do you call a poem that describes a narrator's emotions or feelings? Red block, emotional poem. Blue block, acrostic poem. Yellow block, lyric poem. And green block, descriptive poem. What do you call a poem that describes a narrator's emotions or feelings? Red, emotional poem. Blue, acrostic poem. Yellow, lyric poem. And green, descriptive poem. Twenty seconds. Eleven of you got it right. Oh no, six of you, I'm sorry. It's called a lyric poem. A lyric poem. Because it has to do with emotions, remember? Let's look at our scoreboard now. Buchle is now in first place. Ital second place. Neo third. Naledi fourth. But Praise is back in the game with an answer streak of three. Our next question. The poem in the picture that you will see now is an example of a narrative poem. Blue is true and red is false. The poem is my goldfish took up tennis. Is that poem, we did it in class, is that poem an example of a narrative poem or not? Blue true, red false. The poem goes like this. My goldfish took up tennis. They installed a little net at the bottom of their fish tank for their first official set. They got tennis balls and rackets. They got tennis, oh, I didn't even finish reading. Well done, it is true. 22 of you got it right. Let's look at your scoreboard. Buhle is still in number one, Iptahal number two. Neo has moved down to number three and the lady number four. Up three places, Lace Queen is the highest number, a uh, highest climber. Our next question. A poem in which the first letters of each line spell out a word or phrase is called an poem. What is that poem called? Red block descriptive, blue block narrative, yellow block lyric, and green block acrostic. A poem in which the first letters of each line spell out a word or phrase is called an Red descriptive, blue narrative, yellow lyric, and green acrostic. 
What is that kind of poem? You have seconds left. 18 of you got it right and a classic poem. Let's look at our scoreboard. Number one, Bouglé. Number two, Neo. Number three, Ital. And number four, Naledi. Akani is back with an answer streak of three. Let's move on to question 20, second last one. Acrostic poems always have to rhyme. Is this true or false? Blue, true, and red, false. You only have 30 seconds for this one. Acrostic poems always have to rhyme. Blue, true, red, false. Waiting for two or three more answers. Oh, time is up. 16 of you got it right. They do not need to rhyme. Let's look at our scoreboard. Buchle, Neo, Ital, and Natando. Tando, you are right up there with the others. Five players have reached answer streak three. Now the next question is your last question. You can choose all of them if you want. You can choose more of them if you want. You can choose one, two, three, or four. Okay, this is just a fun question. Are you ready? Which is true about English class? Number red, it is so much fun. Number, I mean color, color blue, I love it. Yellow, I'm learning so much. And green, I like my new friends and teachers. Or oh, teacher, you only have one in English class. Sure, a lot of you gave a lot of answers here. And I'm happy about those answers and all of them are right. There's no wrong answer there. And Let's see our podium in third place. We have Praise in second place, Ntando. And our winner of Kahoot that takes first place is Buhle. Well done to the three of you. Number four, Naledi, and number five, Favor. Excellent, you guys, well done. Okay, I am going to screen my other uh, chair, not screen, to share my other screen with you. Do you see it? Now we have come to the end. Congratulations to those five winners up there. And it's time for me to say goodbye to you guys. Please take down my email, those of you who don't have it. And I really hope to hear from you. I will still be involved in the school, in coding classes, but I would love to hear from you or if there is maybe anything that I can help you with, please email me. Um, with still some of your posts I wanted to share, I will send it to your new teacher. I will pop in every now and then to see you guys, how you guys are doing, okay? Have a nice weekend, guys. Bye-bye.